Hi, so I'm Terry, and uh, I'm going to be reading a couple poems that I liked. And it's hard to choose just one poem, so I actually found um, a longer one and then two shorter ones I really liked. So I'm going to start out with the gesture. I'm hoping this is not repeated by George. If not, he'll at least appreciate that I did this one. So, in one hand I hold tragedy, and in the other comedy. Max for the soul, laugh with me. You would laugh, weep with me. You would weep. Tears are my laughter, laughter is my pain. Cry at my grinning mouth, if you will. Laugh at my sorrow's rain. I am the black jester, the dumb clown of the world, the booted, booted fool of silly men. Once I was wise, shall I be wise again? Um, I feel like it's kind of a deep poem. Um, I like the whole jester aspect. It's not a very, it's kind of a unique character to write about. And um, I like that it's, it's happy and sad and it kind of gives you the inner thoughts to a jester who is only seen as a fool instead of, you know, the possibility of being a wise man. And um, just one I, I thought a lot about for some reason after reading it when we first started reading these poems. So, yeah, that's one that I really liked. Just uh, the, the meaning behind it. And anyway, I know we kind of talked about it a little bit in class. So, um, yeah, that is one of the poems I love. And the other two are um, kind of, also kind of sad, but they're music related as well. Um, I'll read them first and explain why I like them. So the other one is Misery on page 77. It's, play the blues for me, play the blues for me. No other music will ease my misery. Sing a soothing song, set a soothing song, because the man I love done, done me wrong. Can't you understand? Oh, understand. A good woman's crying for no good man. Black guy like me, black guy like me. He's got to hear a blues for her misery. So that one, um, like I said, I'm, I'm very passionate about music. And one of the reasons I like this for me was, um, especially the line like, sing a soothing song, set a soothing song. Um, cause like music is supposed to be very soothing. And I know even personally, when I'm stressed or upset, I will often play music to kind of mellow myself out. Um, I know that's not entirely about music, but that was one of the pieces about this poem that resonated with me, like the, the aspect of music in that poem. And like, play the blues for me, no other music will ease my misery. I think that's probably the, the standout, uh, stanza that's, you know, really resonated with me. And the last one I'm gonna read is on 201. I'm sorry, 200. It's a really short one. It's, um, note and music. Life is for the living, death is for the dead. Let life be like music, and death a note unsaid. Um, again, it's another music-related one, even though it's not entirely about music. Uh, the music involved, kind of mixed in with the death aspect, was um, just beautiful, I thought, even though it's, uh, I feel a little depressing. But I, I really like this one, um, too. Life is for the living. Let life be like music. I think that's the line I especially liked. Um, because, you know, death a note unsaid. Um, and just, uh, the, the death and music combination is, is also very unique. It's not like you read or hear a lot of stuff about that. And yeah, so that's another reason I really like that. I kind of thought about doing Dream Boogie. Because um, that one was also kind of music related, but it, it I think that doesn't really entirely focus on the music enough. Even though that one was really good, um, you know, Dream Boogie on 388. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and read it because it is one that I also really liked. Good morning, Daddy. Ain't you heard the boogie woogie rumble of a dream deferred? Listen closely. You hear their feet beating out and beating out. A you think it's a happy beat? Listen to it closely. Ain't she heard something underneath? Like a, what did I say? Sure, I'm happy. Take it away. Hey, pop, rebop, mop. Yeah. Um, I like the kind of, you know, beat that it's got going on throughout that poem. And um, it kind of reminded me of the sense that often music has an underlying tone that people don't always pick up on. So that was something that I kind of thought about when I read this poem. And, yeah, so... Those are the poems I loved. Um, like that, it's, it's hard to choose one. There is tons of them in here that I really like. So those are 
some of them that have um, in the past readings we've done and in the more recent readings we've done a few poems um, those are some of them have stood out to me and yeah these are the poems I love.